book of Hebrews. If you're a slow reader like me, just over two hours to read through the whole thing, 13 chapters. Okay, if you're a fast reader, like my wife Carla or all of my kids, it goes quicker than that. But I want to encourage you, sit down, read through it. And if you can, sit down and read through it as much as possible in one sitting or just a couple times so that you don't forget what you're reading as you go through it and to read it as a whole. I want to encourage you to fix your eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. Let's pray. Father God, this morning we thank you for your word. We thank you for your revelation to us. We thank you that you gave us your son Jesus, who is the radiance of your glory. Jesus, who is the exact representation of your being. Jesus, who is the sustainer and creator of all things. We thank you for giving Jesus to us and reveal, using him to reveal who you are so that we can better understand and be near to you and follow you. And God, I pray that you would help us to fix our eyes, to fix our thoughts on you. And Lord, help us to wrestle with what it means to fix. It doesn't mean to consider or give you a, a, some space. It doesn't mean to let you be included. I think that fix means fully follow you and surrender to you and give you that place of leadership and lordship in our lives. Lord, help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. God, we thank you for this faith that we have. We thank you that it's not a blind faith based on assumptions, but it's a confident trust and hope in you based on your promises, your faithfulness, and your revelation to us. And so God, we choose to follow you and to worship you. Pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.